Antarctica's thinning ice glaciers have raised alarms about the urgency of climate change and offered researchers new depths for exploration. In tonight's In Depth, CBS's Dave Malkoff takes us under the ice where scientists discovered a new world. This is a part of our planet never seen, an undersea world that's been unknown. Scientists aboard this international research vessel were on a January mission to the Antarctic Ocean. They were already encountering strange creatures like this incredibly rare phantom jelly. But the trip was about to get way more exciting. So this ice shelf broke and the scientists went to investigate what was underneath. The team was 57 miles away when a chunk of ice the size of Chicago calved into the ocean, revealing seafloor that had never been accessible to humans. So they monitored the ice over satellite and raced there in one day to lower a submersible robot more than 1,000 meters deep into the ocean to explore the area. Dr. Patricia Esquete of Portugal was the lead scientist on board. How long was it until you started seeing things that humans have never seen before? Almost immediately, the first thing we saw was a huge sponge with a crab on it. Uh, that's already quite amazing because one question that we had is, will there be any life at all under, under an ice shell? Sponges take a very long time to grow, and to get this big, scientists say this world must have been locked away in the darkness, thriving under the ice possibly for centuries. How in the world does anything exist when there's no energy getting down there for them to eat? W where is that energy coming from? That's one of the things that we are aiming to figure out and to study and to uh, research from now on. It could be um, ocean currents bringing in the nutrients. Dr. Jodika Vermani is the executive director of the Schmidt Ocean Institute. They sponsored the dive that saw this purple and orange crinoid. They also saw what looks like a golden palm tree, but that's actually a starfish relative. Well, I know that they have found at least six new species confirmed, but I think there's many more yet to be um, analyzed. The Antarctica is changing rapidly, and in order to understand what's, what's going to happen, we really need to come back <laughs> and keep studying and keep trying to learn and understand what was driving that ecosystem under the ice shelf. Because Schmidt Ocean Institute makes all of its research open access, this door to a new section of our ocean is now open for other scientists to explore. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Santa Monica.